Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new um episode of um, our friend that po- podcast. And today, Fourth of July is around the corner on Tuesday, and so I can't wait for a Fourth of July. So today, I'm gonna be talking about um why the cowboy why the cowboys might or not be America's team. So anyway. Before I get into this, before July, we were celebrating after we got freed from England, and so, yeah, and basically, uh, this is gonna be a pretty fun video, just to, see, I'm even a Cowboys fan too, so, and I'm not from, um, t- Texas, so, yeah, and, also, um, about this for championship, who's gonna win, the Maulers or the stallions anyways let's get into the video so everybody who likes the, the cowboys of course like i do and all the other people and erica this is called america's team and i think the reason why is because that they are like back in the 90s they were a really good team and they really had some <coughs> but <coughs> a potential to yeah, sorry, sorry, I, I have some um, allergies, some, um, as a uh, potential for the time, and they also beat the Niners in the NFC Championship back in the 90s, they were a really good team, and I think now everyone is just such a bandwagon of them, like me, and all the other fans, and Cowboys are not that good now, because they got, as you can as a free agent, if you want to, please contact me, <laughs> but anyway, Cowboys have, have been a good team throughout the 90s, 80s, and I think they may have to, they may be a good team this year, I don't know, because they got Dak, they got, uh, they got, uh, C.D. Lamb, Michael Parsons, and they also have Trevor Nook, so the same might be better than last year, and please, um, also a Titans fan too, I like Titans more, but I think, I also do like the Cowboys too, but, you yeah. So anyway, have a fun up over July. I hope you have fun. And let's go on Titans and the Cowboys. Let's go. See ya. And, then, and make America great again. Bye.